And now, pigskin people, in anticipation of our favorite night of the offseason, we bring you Twas the Night Before Draftsmas. Twas the Night Before Draftsmas, outside Radio City Music Hall. The Fanimals had all gathered, screaming, We want football! Fans wearing pro jerseys, full of meat and good cheer. Who look like fried garbage and smell of cheap beer. They all for great players who all eat their Wheaties. While 80% of these people have type 2 diabetes. They've come from near and far to cheer their team's picks. Eli and Peyton can eat a huge bag of dicks. The commissioner will appear, and many fans will share booze. Boo! And soon, anyone that plays the Pats can get ready to lose. Will our, our team, team draft, draft offense, offense, defense, or maybe special teams? teams. Darrell Revis on the Patriots give me wet football dreams. On Texans and St. Louis. Jacksonville and the Browns. Buffalo is a city built on a pile of dead clouds. The excitement is tangible. You guys, there's such a fervor. If the Pats draft a tight end, I hope he doesn't commit murder. Many teams' draft selections will make their fans frown. While Patriots fans know, the hoodie always trades down. A big trade can happen when your GM picks up the phone. Ben Roethlisberger is a human rusty trombone. The draft gives fans hope, the excitement creates a rumble. Let's all take, take a, a moment, moment to laugh, laugh at the butt fumble. <laughs> oh, the butt fumble. <laughs> draft weekend flies by, then back to life as we know it. If the pets make the Super Bowl, this time they won't blow it. Our football returns at the end of the summer. Until then, it's family time. Holy shit, what a bummer. <laughs> Best of luck, enjoy the draft. Before you know it, it's gone. Happy draft day to all, and keep calm and Brady on. <laughs>